Hello, everybody, and welcome to International Podcast Day 2019. I am your founder, Dave Lee of International Podcast Day. Thank you for joining in the conversation using the hashtag International Podcast Day and alongside everybody else worldwide celebrating the power of podcasts. So we have a really great hour scheduled with a few guys from Portugal. Gentlemen, how are you doing today? Hey, we are doing fine. Portugal, <laughs> Portugal. Yes. You know, it's the favorite, very flag. famous flag, you know? <laughs> yep, the flag is back. Claudio was here last year uh, representing and definitely sharing what was going on in, in, the, in the Portugal podcast landscape there. So I'm, I'm obviously glad to see the flag is back. Thank yeah. you, guys. And um, it's going to be great. You guys are going to be talking about how much por uh, podcasting has changed in Portugal over the last year and what's been going on yeah. and how all podcasters are, are helping each other. Uh, to learn, to grow, and really just grow a, a really good platform, plus also promoting friendship and creating a great sense of community over there. So uh, real quickly, I did want to thank our sponsors for International Podcast Day, and you can find more over at internationalpodcastday.com slash sponsors. Our platinum sponsor is Blueberry. They are a full-service podcasting company providing podcast hosting, stats, and advertising opportunities. You can find more at blueberry.com. Our gold sponsor is repurpose.io. Automatically converts your audio podcast into engaging videos and uploads them to YouTube, Facebook, and several other social media channels. Try it for free by heading over to repurpose.io slash IPD. And Libsyn, another great gold sponsor. They are a hosting company, distribution, and monetiz monetization solution for the audio and video podcasters around the world. Reach your audience everywhere and on the most popular audience destinations like Spotify and Pandora. Find more over at Libsyn.com. And of course, our streaming partner this year is StreamYard. You can go sign up for a free account over at StreamYard.com. And we do want to thank our celebration supporters, Second Line Themes, Geeks Rising Podcast Network, Synth, Outlier HQ, and Focusrite. And of course, Head over to internationalpodcastday.com slash sponsors to get some free stuff, some giveaways from our amazing sponsors, and of course, sign up for some discounted services. Well, Claudio and gentlemen, I appreciate you being here, representing yourself, your podcast platform, and of course, the country of Portugal. Welcome to International Podcast Day. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice pleasure. And let's start with a very famous toast from Portugal. You have water this at this time, Dave. Well, well Dave is not here. Like, well, well, cheers. <laughs> well, well, cheers, Dave. <laughs> so, I'm I'm here. I I don't. Ah, you uh, have here. I I have ah, a nice I have a one. A mug. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toast. Cheers. 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 To cheers. International Podcast cheers. Day. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, well, I'm Claudio Fonseca. Okay. Uh, this uh, is Rui. He have a podcast. He will talk about his own podcast, also as uh, Tiago. So, lots of things change from the last year. I was here in the International Podcast Day. So, one thing I was talking about to you, it, it was like last year, ninety-five percent of the podcast were, were was owned by um, the the social media, and now the numbers are reversed. So. Uh, independent podcasts, the real podcasts, are growing up and up and up. So uh, this platform that we create, the Plataforma Podcast Portugal, which is a platform to, to promote uh, entrepreneurship and friendship um, with all the podcasters in Portugal. Uh, all the independent podcasts. Independent. Yeah, very nicely. <laughs> uh, so we have already uh, two months and we have already 40 uh, podcast members. So it's very nice. Uh, it all started with uh, 16 podcasts, so now we are 40, so we are uh, like pedal to the metal uh, in this uh, podcast world. So we are very happy to, to speak here, to promote our platform, an um, European national uh, platform. And now I will give the word to Rui and Tiago to speak a little bit of uh, podcasting in Portugal too. Uh, hi Dave. Hi, hi everyone. It's uh, nice. It's a great pleasure to to be a part of the International Podcast Day. Uh, my name is Rui. It's like a strange name. It has only three letters: uh, an R, a U, and an I. Uh, it says Rui or Rui or whatever. 
Um, and I have uh, uh, two podcasts. One is a, an interview podcast called A uh, Beida do Abismo, which can be translated for On the Edge of the Abyss, which is the Portuguese title for both novel and film The Big Sleep uh, from Raymond Chandler <laughs> and uh, Our Talks, respectively. Um, it's, um, it's a podcast that is running for two years now. Uh, it, uh, it received um, some national and international guests. Uh, here we had um, the famous singer Salvador Sobral, who, who, uh, who won the, the Eurovision Song Contest two years ago. And also some, some international guests, like the film critic Jonathan Rosenbaum, the actor Greg Sestero from the cult movie The Room, and in a few weeks, the, the Australian prize the director, film director Fred Skepsi, uh, who worked with Meryl Streep and whatever. And another podcast I have is called Skol Tu, which I, I guess is, can be translated for uh, you choose. choose You, You yeah. Choose, uh, because it has an exclamation mark at the end. Um, it's about two guys who choose uh, movies that they love or or they didn't knew about before and have a nice conversation. I don't know if that podcast is going to continue from now on, but but it is still there in the platforms. Um, about the the topic of the um, of the day, I just want to say that um, the the nice idea that Claudio have had about the, to create the platform was really nice to be because there are several independent podcasters but it's it's really tough to connect with each other because it's a, a tricky medium now in portugal because uh, despite the fact that there are many independent podcasters now uh the the big groups are still pressing a yeah. little bit uh but i think with the, the passing of the the years it's going to to change and now, Tiago. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right. So my name is Tiago. Uh, I do have a, a podcast about beer. It's called Quem Bebe Por Gosto, uh, which is kind of a, a usual Portuguese saying. Usually you say, um, who runs uh, with pleasure, never, get, ne never gets tired. And it's kind of a, a play uh, with that words, but with drinking. So whoever is drinking never gets tired. Whoever is drinking with, with uh, pleasure never gets tired. Essentially, it's an interview podcast. So every every uh, other week, I I publish I interview someone in the industry of the, the craft beer in Portugal, which is again uh, another uh, niche. So it's it's a it's a niche in a niche. But but with uh, with this uh, podcast that I started not even a, a year ago, I already see a lot of people recognizing me um, and feeling the importance of someone communicating. A beer, so definitely we can get uh, you know at at home, um, get to the world and spread the word about anything that we want. So that's essentially what I'm doing uh, with something that I that I love, craft beer, and now uh, another love, which is podcasting. Regarding podcasting in Portugal, um, uh, Claudio just uh, called me at some day and and said that um let's talk about podcasting <laughs> yeah uh, so i have heard that you have a podcast and you know like we just had a quite a long chat uh, actually and... with Claudio, there are always long chats. <laughs> yeah. that's why my my podcast it's like chatting yeah you know? <laughs> so, translating yeah so uh, essentially i didn't know uh, anyone or i knew very few people um podcasting in portugal and and now i can say that i know a lot of people in the podcasting uh, world in Portugal, and that that is uh, because someone uh, actually took the time to invite people, like-minded people, and starting a, a movement, uh, this platform, which is platform of podcasts Portugal, uh, which essentially it's not only a, a place where we can meet other people, but actually a, a place where we create content and where we. I think it's uh, at, at this moment we are giving to the platform. At at some point, hopefully, the platform will will deliver back uh, to ourselves and to other uh, like-minded podcasts. Yeah. So basically, the this idea came up with lots of uh, international guys, and I want to thank you very much, the International Podcast Day, and Dave. Thank you very much for supporting uh, from the beginning this uh, this platform. So uh, it's very um, powerful some someone from the international podcast they say go ahead do it you can do it and 
because it's very tough, okay? Because lots of people around um, the, the Europe, we are talking about Europe, um, tried and failed because it's very difficult to uh, talk to everyone. So Tiago t uh, tell, uh, told that it was very difficult uh, for him to uh, like connect with other podcasts. So the platform um, helps everyone uh, doing that. We, in, in the platform, we produce our content. Uh, this platform will create a podcast and the first uh, podcast episode will be about the International Podcast Day. So, Dave, you are making history once again here in Portugal. So <laughs> thank you very much. It's a, it's a pleasure, pleasure uh, talking about this. So we are going to like talk what is this uh, International Podcast Day, what is the, our experience and stuff like that. So be tuned and uh, let's do it. Um, it was a, it is uh, also a challenge to tell everyone from from the north, north and south of Portugal to be part of this uh, uh, brotherhood, like, <laughs> and uh, promote all the podcasts. Lots of us uh, have been to the other podcasts. I have been already in the Ruiz uh, podcast, uh, so as Ruiz yeah. has been in mine. Yeah. Uh, I did not. This I, is I, like the mafia, you know. We are <laughs> the mob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we are talking here right now, but we have uh, our our friends from Portugal watching and sharing and stuff like that. So it's very very nice. We have like a big um, menu, let's say, uh, of podcasts from sport, from politics, uh, economy, uh, movies, uh, storytelling. It's very fascinating to aggregate all these guys. Um, and do better content, do make the difference. That's that's the point we want to do. It's to make the difference of uh, podcasting in Portugal. So, uh, for instance, Rui was talking that uh, the media is a trick thing. Uh, we have been in some some uh, televisions, uh, newspaper, uh, radio, stuff like that, uh, two radios. But it's very difficult. For instance. Uh, the um, television we went, uh, they was talking about the international podcast, but it's very difficult for the, all the uh, all the media talking. Okay, there is a platform of independent podcasts who are promoting, they are waving the flag of Portugal around the world, because what we we must uh, know it's okay. We are Portuguese, uh, we love our countries, and we must have um, a patriot. Uh, attitude because it's we are representing Portugal so it's a big honor for us talking here um, and wave our flag and stuff like that so I will now uh, give the word to Tiago Rui uh, no I just wanted to say that we had we had we have a great problem with our country it, it is the fact that it's a really tiny country and most of the times it's mistaken for with Spain yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, and the language uh, because uh, I don't know uh, the majority of our podcasts are recorded in Portuguese uh, and there's a big difficult to a difficulty to to expand them worldwide but there's also a big difficulty to expand in our uh, country itself um, and so with this platform this is a this is a great idea to to make a, a great force of power to to face the, the the big groups and and to say to them let let us have our voice exposed to the world and our our ideas and so that's what are what are we are doing now um and it's 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 really great to to have the opportunity now with the internet and all the the cheap uh, cheap uh, ways to to do a podcast to to have your ideas expressed around the world and um and i, I think that uh, the purpose of the platform is also to to make a difference in the in the media scenario in in portugal which is a little bit uh, old fashioned in some some things um, and I think we are going to succeed soon. Um, so, Tiago. <laughs> um, so we we just came from uh, from a, a TV uh, channel, um, and we we were called to you know explain a little bit about our our podcasts and a little bit about the the, the platform. But essentially, and the international podcast day, and the international. But but yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Um, oh, sorry. So the, the strength of the international podcast day. Uh, it's what, in a way, made uh, made us go to or 
appear on, on TV, on newspapers, on radios. And this is, this is something that I think it's, it's beautiful to see, um, something that was created in, in this case in the US and allows platforms like, like this one um, to, to spread the word. And I, 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 last year, uh, Claudio was, was here and I'm, I doubt that he had uh, as much coverage uh, as, as there was this year, even though it's, it's a really small uh, it's it's nothing still, but like it's it's an improvement, and and in a way that comes from International Podcast Day, which which I thank, and I think it's uh, really important. So the scenario in uh, in Portugal, it's or the podcasts, and that's why the independence it's it's important. Most of the podcasts are uh, or were uh, media owned, and there's a lot of new creators, as Rui was saying, that it's it's now very easy to just start a podcast and this is very important and each person can have a voice and reach uh, people this international podcast day and this celebration it's really important in the way that it creates awareness of, of the people in general and on the media and all things so i guess it's it's really really important to have uh, a international podcast a platform and anything that will benefit the the creation of, of original content and independent um, stuff that it's important to just about anyone i guess so yeah Claudio. yeah well this year um I, I want to to welcome to new countries because i think the older countries must uh, have a, a different role because I want to, to say hello to Brazil. Uh, portanto, uh, todos os brasileiros, muito bem-vindos ao, ao Dia Internacional do Podcast. Um grande beijinho e um abraço para a Cíntia Pudim, de Belém, que ela também está a fazer um grande trabalho uh, no Brasil, na cidade de Belém. Oi, so, galera. E aí? <laughs> so, thank you to Brazil and uh, endorse to, to Cíntia, who is creating a, a very nice community in Brazil, in the city of Belém. Uh, so it's very nice to to have the, uh, this country uh, who shares the same language that Portugal. Um, I want to compliment also uh, Nepal. So it's very nice to see from a, a very uh, small country with a particular uh, flag uh, doing a, a participation here in the International Podcast Day, uh, but also Kenya uh, doing a festival of uh, Africa. So it's nice, very nice. I remember the first time that Zimbabwe uh, went to this podcast and uh, Laurie was uh, talking how tough it was creating a podcast uh, environment in Zimbabwe. And uh, it's, I believe it's very difficult to create a podcast environment in Africa due to all the, the conditions we know, like the dictatorship, uh, miss of technology, stuff like that, you know, all the, the deal. And here in Portugal, we are fighting like this. We are uh, creating this content. So we are very, uh, when, when I was talking to, to these guys, uh, okay, let's uh, make this platform make part of the, of the international podcast day because it will be a very nice day. It's the biggest day of the podcast calendar. They were saying, okay, let's do it. It's the goal. We can do it. We are straightforward, pedal to the metal. Uh, as I love to say, and here we are uh, talking and different podcasts and all this. Uh, Rui, I don't know if you want to uh, mention some of uh, our podcasts. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. We can do it uh, all along the... Yeah, but uh, alongside with the podcast Conversa, which is from Claudio, he has also two sports uh, podcasts. Sports, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, sports. that's right. Cycling and tennis. Um, uh, from cycling and tennis, uh, camisola amarela, uh, white, uh, yellow jersey, yellow jersey, and uh, uh, change of of balls. Change of balls. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, we can translate. Trocket ballers, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trocket <laughs> balls. We can do like passing, passing yeah. balls in. This, uh, this sounds so bad in English. <laughs> yeah, translating. Um, <laughs> and also, also we had we have uh, many comedy. Uh, uh, podcasts like uh, Mais do Mesmo, uh, More of the Same from Max Coliban, which is a Moldavian guy living in Portugal, which yeah. he, we, which is a, who is a, a stand-up comedian. Um, we have uh, from cinema, we have a great podcast called VHS, uh, which has which had also many international guests. Um, we had also from cinema also Segundo Take, Second Take from Antonio Araújo. 
um, and many, many more. We are now so how far? much? So far? So far, how much? Ah, oh. pes- ah no, 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 no. I thought you were saying so far. No, no, no. We, we have, have 40. So we have yeah, 40. Yeah. So, uh, so we have so far. Yeah. Uh, four girls talking about movies also. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can say yeah, more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have the phone. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah. So from the... Um, we are have uh, we have the yellow flag bandeira amarela who talk about uh, formula 1 yeah. very popular sport also uh, the 321 automobile so 321 automobile uh, also talking about rallies uh, moto gp stuff like that so very nice um, comedy we have mais do mesmo uh, max caliban uh, we have uh, ruben branco we have uh, uh, she's LR Ligado, so X all L R connected connected or tune. O like próprio that. himself. Himself, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 really nice to translate all yeah, the it's, names. Yeah, it's a very funny <laughs> thing, you know. Dave, are you uh, taking notes? <laughs> yeah, because are you now you're going to learn Portuguese to listen to all these podcasts. Yeah. Uh, we have two podcasts about music. One is the Indiscutivo, so it's indie, uh, all kinds of indie. Um Cross lines, yeah. It's a a, a series. Linhas yeah. cruzadas. Yeah, it's a very old series in the US. Criminal, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very, very nice. Okay. Very nice. So, linhas cruzadas, cross lines. So, about jazz and that type of uh, of um, of music. Interlinhas, which is about books and literature. Between the lines. Yeah. Nice, nice. Which which is a nice name for a thriller, also. Between the lines. And now we have a podcast who is Portuguese, but the the title is in English, so it's built to inspire podcast. Yeah. So but no translation needed. Ju- but just to to maintain the the keeps equal, now we have to translate it to Portuguese. It's construir para inspirar. <laughs> it's not, the name is English, but it was just to. to yeah, we have uh, football also. It's called uh, a culpa do Cavani. So the fault is it's it's, it's Cavani's, Cavani's fault. Cavani's fault. Blame, Cavani's yeah. fault. Yeah, blame the Cavani. Uh, we have the stickers. Yeah, uh, stickers album. Yeah, stickers Caderneta album. De uh, also about Port- uh, also about um, soccer or uh, football. Dog who who um... <laughs> dog who barks don't bite. bite. Yeah. yeah. So it's also um, no more. yeah yeah it's also a proverb no a meaning meaning in Portuguese it's a very known it's a, yeah it's a very a very uh, known expression yeah which means you can like okay you are if you talk blah, so blah, blah, much but... you don't do anything yeah. in action yeah it's that's like that's right. We have the Café Central, which you can say like Central Central Café. Café. <laughs> we is a guy from Coimbra, very in the, in the middle of Portugal. Uh, we have interviews with uh, very famous people. Uh, now, one is about when, onde, quando e como eu quiser. When, no, where, uh, where when, when, and how, how I want. I want. Yeah. yeah, it's about technology uh, and how yeah. the digital media are working and stuff like that. So it's very nice. Um, we have also in technology the news of the Apple or Apple News, Notícias da Maçã, where are guys who are talking about tech and most of uh, Apple devices, so yeah, very nice. Um, and I think he's for now we have uh, new ones, not launching. I think this one. Uh... Uh, <laughs> this is untranslatable. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> this is like a, a North Portuguese expression, which, which is a bontadinha. I, I can't translate it for English. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's kind of like, very relaxed, kind of. Yeah, yeah, just chill out, but in Portuguese and it's untranslatable. It's sorry. It's definitely yeah. untranslatable. So I don't know, Tiago, do you want to promote your beers? <laughs> <laughs> no, not specifically, but like I want to. Some American beers? For... I want. Well, actually. You have to export well, them. Actually, actually, we're going to be in, um, where is it? Uh, we'll, 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 like the, the, the brand that I work for uh, during the day, not when I'm making a podcast. Uh, it's Dois Corvos and we'll be at Nitro Fest, which is um, a beer festival. Uh, I, I can't recall where it is, but I know that uh, it's Left Hand uh, Brewery. So it's it's a pretty big craft brewery in the in the US. They were famous to create the nitro um, the nitro stout. So you pour it uh, with a bottle just upside down to create the fizziness, like a Guinness, but like uh, but but better. Let's say so. We, we were invited to be there, so we're, we'll we'll be uh, the first time in the US, but we export a little bit to to Europe. But, but more than uh, bragging about uh, what 
when we achieved this beer, I wanted to, well, not brag, but like uh, just say something good about uh, what we actually want to do as uh, as a platform besides sharing the podcast, the content creation. So right after we finish um, we finish this this moment with you guys, we're gonna record um, the first podcast of the platform. And while in a way we don't really know absolutely how it's gonna be uh, in the future we we're gonna just kick it off and see then we, we'll see how it goes but essentially it can be both you know anyone anywhere um just recording about a specific topic or we can maybe explore some tips and tricks on how to create uh, and manage a podcast we're still to to find out the first episode that we're gonna record right after would be essentially explaining this experience that we are living uh, right here right now and some of the interviews that we that we gave during this week to the to the media to the radios and, and stuff so this is something that will I get again uh, that's that's definitely work and all of you or most of you uh, know how it is to record a podcast and you know it, it consumes quite a lot of time so um, we, we're again we're giving uh, a little bit of our time to the platform and to hopefully create some audience and to make more people like-minded people to to reach us and to um, maybe start to get interested to create a, a podcast and you know just jump in into this beautiful work which is the the podcasting so yeah i think it's it's very important to create content that's that's what we like to do and again it's it's about giving to the platform, giving to the community to hopefully uh, pick up the fruits and then whatever comes good uh, from that. Yeah, I, I just wanted to say two things. Um, one, which is about the fact that I started to make uh, making podcasts because of some North American podcasts I, I listen, yeah. um, like the cliche now, but, but it's still a great podcast, uh, WTF, by what the fuck? From, uh, whatever from Mark Maron uh, then you have uh, Colonel O'Brien it's a friend then you have uh, uh, Alec Baldwin here's the thing this American life and all the storytelling uh, podcasts that you have there which are truly terrific so thanks for the, the inspiration to all those creators big and small um, also uh, I was forgetting uh, Mali on movies uh, the movies that made me, which is my favorite podcast uh, right now, from Joe Dante and Josh Olson, it's it's quite amazing, uh, and also the Mick Garris podcast. I'm now forgetting the name, sorry, but I, I liked it very much. And um, so, thanks for the inspiration and to open uh, for opening these these doors to to us to make our content and which is rather different from yours and which is very good because it's a difference and diversity that we want and also uh, because of the fact that i i love movies and i made a podcast about movies i just wanted to say that 2019 is currently a great year for portuguese cinema and now we have a, a movie called the domain which was in venice and toronto uh, which was our choice to go to the oscars there i think it has it has great possibilities i don't know if you know it but watch it it's a truly amazing movie and it was just this note yeah so one thing we can yeah we can say how how we started our podcast and how the podcast starts in portugal so we have a big community of uh, humorists yeah Com so, comedians comedians, 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 yeah. comedians who are uh, they, they are in the YouTube, but they are also now in, in podcasts. So that's what I want to say with this is, okay, YouTube is very famous, but here in Portugal, uh, if you say you, I am a YouTuber, uh, no, nobody love, likes you because our YouTubers are very dumb. Uh, they do stupid things. For uh, kids. Yeah, and just for kids. So uh, bad influence in the, in the end of the day. So... The podcast, as I usually say, we are the gourmet ver version of internet. So we do the, the best we can. We do all the, the stuff we know. And that this is why I love podcasting. You know, it's um, a very nice experience. I, I say to all my, my friends, all the podcasters' friends, that um, 
in the international groups, we say like, okay, podcast changed my life. And I say, okay, no, podcasting is a lifestyle. Because once you have a podcast, your friends start, okay, who's the next one? Where, where comes the new episode? What's the, can I go to your podcast? Uh, stuff like that. So it's very uh, amazing doing that. And uh, that's, that's terrific. For instance, I, I, do, I, talk, I do talk about politics and um, all my opinions are correct. So when I say, like I, I said it in the, the last year, I said uh, Trump will be elected, uh, Bolsonaro in Brazil will be elected, Macron in France will be elected. So all the things I say in podcast, the always happen because I, I appreciate a lot of uh, uh, politics and I want to, to do the best job I can do. So everyone, uh, now we, in Portugal, we have elections in the 6th um, of October. Of October. Yeah. We have national elections for our parliament. Uh, we'll choose the, after that, we'll choose the, our prime minister, um, the leader of the government. And I'm, I'm, doing the interviews with all the, the the parties and stuff like that and i give the option the, the opportunity to all the listeners uh put the question to the candidate to the um, the guy from the party and i think it, and it was what i was talking last year it's like uh, podcasting politics bring politics and people together and i think that we the podcasters we can bring everyone together with everything for instance Tiago, you can share your your point of view in this uh, beer universe when people say okay now i'm starting learning about beers yeah. and stuff like that so that's amazing because uh, i believe with Rui it happens the same thing about movies and about culture in general um we are like a leaders uh, we inspire the others we are like a reference so if someone of the podcast say okay this movie is very nice or this team is sucks in the soccer and football well everyone believes us and that's and the thing it's very important to say here is like uh, we are one of the people yeah. we are not like star star maids we are yeah. not we are going to be a star someday i don't know <laughs> but uh, we yeah, we have You're to be dreaming too high here. <laughs> but what we we have to say here is like um we are uh, genuine so when we uh, say something we don't have brands behind us uh, we have just uh, roll-ups <laughs> right now um, that you paid for them yeah i paid i paid that uh, well but, but just well, want to say that claudio now is making a, a better job than the so-called uh, classic media in the interviews he's making to the parties now he had a, a little hit uh, a little no a big hit big with <laughs> with with, um, with an interview with like uh, an animals and ecology party here which is called pan uh, it is a, a sadly hilarious interview <laughs> because because we are laughing, but it's so sad that that person can be elected and she doesn't know anything about about her party and what they represent. And uh, it's like a terrific job. Uh, there was a clip that was shared in on Twitter that has now more than a hundred thousand views. Um, so many independent people are making a better job than the current media and that is important but the current media don't want us to to have a space because they are th fearing of us and that is good that's good the, it's it has to it had to to happen a while and i think it's now happening and that's great but yeah even... because just me let me let me just uh, finish this uh, sentence Sorry. because no no problem at all um the the big thing here here is like like i was saying we are one of the people so we don't have a director saying no no we have to promote this party no no you cannot do that question i do all the questions i want i want to push harder and harder to the to my uh, guests and that's what what it is and i liked it so people like the um, the very uh genuine the very the, the touch you know people when you are listening you want to feel like a, a hug or a hand yeah. uh, touching you and the and you can be part of the of the episode and stuff like that. So that is the biggest goal, is the, the benefit of being a podcaster and doing a podcast. Yeah. Check. Um, so regarding to this, when, when you reach a certain um, you know, visibility, and in this case, in this episode that we were talking about, um, you know, even radio stations share uh, a part of 
the Claudius podcast about this interview because so, they can't pretend now anymore because it's still it's it's been talked now yeah yeah, like, yeah. yeah it got a lot of uh, awareness so but like even even you know just uh, media uh, actually use some of these content for uh, for their use but like uh, um, sometimes people you know tell me like you know you you've got uh, some visibility um, and some influence over you know in this case in the niche of craft beer. And, you know, sometimes people say, like, I wish uh, I was, you know, I had this voice or something. And I, I just wanted to say that, you know, I started to, I started my podcast in, in January uh, of 2019. Um, I started thinking about it. Uh, it was, you know, by the end of December, I still remember when I was talking with my brother and be like, I want to create content. And I don't know what, uh, what that content will be. What format would would it be? I consider even um, YouTube for a while, and then you know, podcast was like, well, I, I can record a podcast. That would be cool. So I, I essentially I, I order some equipment, uh, and you know, a few weeks after um, they made it home, and I designed it, you know this image uh, here, and you know the naming and that kind of thing, you know, like the normal things, the website and stuff, and. And started recording. Now, after about 20 episodes, the format is pretty similar to the first one, which meant that you know I was lucky to to didn't miss uh, what I what I was gonna do. Um, I'm thinking about the second season, which I will eventually incorporate some video and get a little uh, change a little bit the the content itself. But I, I just wanted to mention that anyone that is uh, listening to this and is willing to or wishes that you had a podcast you can start it you know today or tomorrow or like in a week and you don't have to spend a lot of money uh, you can but you don't have to and that's something that is very unique i guess the today we can create content and share it with the world and have some visibility and you know before a few years ago not not a long time ago uh, but a few years ago like if you wanted to be you know to influence someone, you needed to be in the mass media. And that was very exclusive. And even though if you, you, you can be good, um, but if you don't have the right contact, uh, you might not ever get there. And today people can you know be respected, get their place by merit, by their knowledge, by their influence. And everything starts, um, you know, from something very small, but then you can get to something important. Um, I think it's it's crazy. Like I, I got a, I, I was approached by by a couple of people that wanted to to have their brands, um, you know, associated with with the podcast, which is crazy in the way that the podcasting is super small in Portugal, but yet you have already brands willing to you know to partner with with podcasts um, to share their word. Uh, in this case, obviously, it was it was in the in the craft beer world. Uh, I mean, I got a, a few people interested, and they were really excited, um, even not knowing statistics, because that's something uh, in podcasting you you don't really have statistics visible, or sometimes you have, some some other times you don't, and people still, you know, they they look at you and they wish they have that influence. Um, Claudia was was saying just a little bit ago. About the festivals like i, I get uh, people coming to me on on beer festivals and be like hey are you tiago and i'm like yeah I've, i listened to your podcast i just started to drink you know whatever it's it's not even craft beer like i drank a, you know, i'm drinking all the time because <laughs> of you <laughs> sorry uh I, I you know i just tried this beer and and then i wanted to know more about beer and i like podcasts so i went to search and you know, there's yours. And what you say, the brands that you talk about, the people that you interview are the people that now I want to drink their beers. So this is, you know, this, I don't, I don't really like to say that, but like, this is influencing what, what we talk about in, you know, Instagram stars and the kind of things, but this is the influence that, you know, it's real. You make an impact on, you know, in this case, in small craft breweries, uh, that I know the people and, you know, sometimes it's just a couple of people or three people working in a brewery, it's family owned or not, but like you make an impact and you influence other people. And, you know, suddenly like in less than a year, 
uh, some people look to me as you know someone um, some kind of influencer in the beer industry in Portugal and that's that's just crazy and I just wanted to you know just to uh, highlight that it's very easy to start and you can go far from yeah from not a lot two things uh one about the the, the money that you have to spend uh, it can be from zero dollars to to whatever you want. I mean, we now have, if you want uh, the the best audio quality possible, then you have to spend a little money. But now you you can with your own phone with a reasonable quality have a, have a podcast. There's a a big podcast here in Portugal, which is called Até Tem Amigos Que São. I have friends that are. It's like a, also a Portuguese expression. Um, the guy records almost the time, all all the time with the, the iPhone. So, sometimes it's it's uh, uh, bad because he just puts the the phone on the table in the restaurant and then he has all the noise. But he has a great popularity, so he was kind of an inspiration to think about. Well, if he can do, I also can. But I didn't have an iPhone. I have I have a, a little uh, Sony recorder from this size. Um, and in my conversations, because I, I want to, there are uh, frank conversations, uh, me, most of the times they are in an empty space, so I can put the record or, or mouth to mouth or, or the recorder in the, on the top of the table. And then the person talks, talks a lot, and he doesn't uh, understand that there's a, a recording uh, going on. Um, and that, that's that's really good for the kind of podcast that I, I like to do because it's the the episode with Salvador Sobral uh, worked so well because he, he's famous of of course but it was it wasn't the the typical conversation with him that that is spreading all, in all the media uh, everywhere anytime it was a frank conversation about many stuff about his life and my life and people like that and people applauded the, the, the interview and and you can do also your thing uh, and you have don't have to be afraid of anything uh, you have to test and fail sometimes and then when you're going to to starting to to have uh, approval it's really good the reward even if the reward is just uh, people talking to you like tiago was saying it's great and in a small country like portugal even better or nepal or zimbabwe and and that is that in brazil also and Bra brazil is not uh, brazil, real. there's a lot of yeah yeah <laughs> that's uh yeah so yeah i guess it's it's very very nice to see you know the the podcasting panorama in portugal nourishing flourishing it's incredible to see you know so many like-minded people talking about different topics and there's something important about podcasting which is we actually develop our communication skills and that is something very important we can you know we can have fun uh, while we can you know we we actually get ready to eventually you know we can start working in a radio station just because we made a podcast and that's crazy again because you know suddenly you're developing some skills that you didn't have and it, and it's it's uh, it's really important to you know to be uh, to be attentive to these possibilities that podcasting uh, gives you uh, i think in like honestly in portugal this is growing there's more and more people aware uh, even my mom start listening my podcast <laughs> that's the main goal <laughs> so so it's it's only it's on, only gonna gonna grow it's it's nice to see there's there are some more uh, communities other than ours um being out there and you know organizing some some stuff so uh, together we can uh, take the word even further and just support independent uh, creators and the podcasting industry in portugal good we have dave correct me if i'm wrong we have more, uh, five more minutes He's, well, Dave is not there. He's gone. Uh, <laughs> no, I just wanted to repeat this because I, I I hope that when I was a kid, someone would told me this, but I didn't have. But if you're a kid with 15 or 16 or 17 years old, and you are in a, a far side country in the world, you are in Vietnam, you are 
uh, in Portugal, you are in Russia. Um, you, now you have all these uh, tools in your hands that you can use for good, for your good and for everyone's good. So if you have an idea, just go. Uh, don't wait for nothing. Um, I, th I think that's 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 a really important uh, uh, thing to say because um, kids don't have to be afraid now. We don't know how much time the world is going to last. <laughs> Greta Thunberg, yay! Uh, <laughs> and uh, we we all have to to. We don't know how much time we're going. Any one of us uh, cannot be here tomorrow. So we have to start working on our ideas as soon as possible, which is now. And this uh, event is really good for that because it creates awareness about podcasting and creates um, like uh, little uh, lamps uh, going on on the heads of people. This is like a stupid metaphor, like from comics and whatever. But uh, it's 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 really important to 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 say this because all the kids and not only kids if you are a 50 year old man who, who, who has nothing to do in his free time why don't you make a podcast about your hobby or why don't you go make an interview podcast there's an actor here in portugal which started to be an actor when he retired with 65 years old from a telephone company and now he's 19 years 90 years old and he made a lot of movies soap opera series so it's never too late to start a project and um, I just want to say that. <laughs> yeah. So concluding, I, let me have that honor. So back into to 2017, it was very, very difficult to create podcasts because we don't have, now we have lots of tools. We have Chartable, we have Anchor, we have Spotify, we have lots of them. And back in time, it was only like SoundCloud, LipSync, Podbean. Um, so very short. Uh, world, very tiny world. Now we have a big world. We can uh, do a lot of things. And I want to thank, uh, to thank you, Dave, and all the International Podcast Day, because this International Podcast Day is also a workshop, because we are, we are uh, taking notes about everything that every country and every topic is spoken here in the International Podcast Day. Because we have someone who tells you, how can you monetize your podcast? How can you improve your quality? Uh, how can you improve your own techniques, your personal techniques of speaking and uh, presenting the, the podcast and stuff like that? So this International Podcast Day, it's a very huge thing. Uh, to talk about it's uh, very nice to have all this workshop for free for free and uh, if you did not uh, watch it this uh, live you can see after um, in youtube or another platform so it's very nice to do all these types of things so if we from portugal can help you uh, can we inspire you like do all the things uh, don't be afraid you don't have to show your face in the case of the podcast you just have to have a, a voice a nice one or a bad one, it's not your fault. Uh, but you can improve your voice. You can do lots of voice and work on that. And uh, this is the magic of podcast. Podcast is doing magic. Podcast is so inspiring um, that everyone can do that. Everyone can grow if you are good. If you are bad, you don't go so far. So it's very nice to be here. So Dave, I'm seeing you now. So, so thank you again for being here, uh, supporting Portugal also. So for us, it's a very nice thing. And uh, let's, let's, let's just wave a flag one more time. Let, one let more me time. just let me just give yeah, you go, a, go, go. a small note. Whoever was curious about the podcasts that are on the platform, you can actually check them at podcastsportugal.pt. I repeat, podcastsportugal.pt. Got the directory of all podcasts that are a member of the platform. So if you're curious, you can just check it out. So we have here the flag. So much, yeah. Let's Sorry. let's see that flag again because that can, is. Uh, we can hear you, Dave. Standby. What's that? No, we can hear you. No, no voice. Okay, just wave yeah, the, flag. Flag. Oh, the flag. Okay, okay. We know the flag. The flag. Portugal. Here we are <laughs> once right. again. Well, thank our you. Flag, our yeah. national flag from Portugal. So let's one more thing, Dave. So everyone, uh, if you want to come to Portugal, well, we are a nice host a country. So we are hosts of podcasts, but we host our, also our our country. So I can make a terrific uh, tourist guide if you want to. So <laughs> just check it out. So 
Thank you very nice. Thank and you very much. Thank you. Have a national, international day for all of you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you guys so much and continue to use the hashtag International Podcast Day. And thank you for the three guys from Portugal that joined us. Glad to have them on.